Frankie and Abby have 147 awesome unicorn stickers. If they can only fit 13 stickers on each page of their sticker book, how many pages will be full of stickers? To start this problem, I'm going to underline, or I'm sorry, I'm going to circle my key numbers there. So 147 awesome unicorn stickers and 13 stickers that will fit on each page. And then I'm going to want to underline the question here. So the question is, how many pages will be full of stickers? All right. So what operation do we use here? Well, I have a total number of 47. And if I know the total, I can divide. So I'm going to divide 147 by 13. And I'm going to start uh, by seeing if I can make any groups of 13 out of the number one. And of course I can't um, because there's no multiple of 13 that's going to be close to one without being bigger than one. So I'm going to extend my question to 14. Is there a multiple of 13 close to 14 without being larger than 14? Yes. 13 times one will work. The difference of 14 and 13 is 1. And then I'm going to bring my 17 down. And I'm going to ask myself again, is there a multiple 13 close to 17 now without being larger than 17? The answer again is yes, it's 11. Or I'm sorry, it's 1. 1 times 13 is going to give us 13. And then the difference of 13 and 17 is 4. So when I divide 147 by 13, I end up with 11 remainder 4. So how can I interpret this? Well, this tells me this tells me that 11 pages will be full of 13 stickers each. What about the remainder four? Well, the remainder four is the four stickers uh, that are not going to make a full page. And so when we go back to the question, how many pages will be full of stickers? The answer is actually 11, okay? So 11 pages, will be full of stickers. In this type of division problem where we, where we are interpreting the remainder, uh, we can call this drop it. So this is an example when we do not include the remainder as part of our answer to the question. So this is an example of dropping the remainder.